What's up, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Mug Doo Doo Doo, and we're back with some Hero Coliseum, obviously. And now, shout out to Prince Kaza. You gave me this team build a while ago, and I never did it. This is the Broly team build. Now, when I see Broly in a game, I'm like, wow, he's actually running the Broly, because I don't see a lot of Brolys being run, unless it's the speed version. I've run into a man using a Broly, and it was a modded account, and just ran through me, because this man had, like, 12,000 attack and, like, 10,000 HP, which is unreal. It's modded. Don't think it's real, guys, but... He's a beast of a figure. Beast of a figure. I'm running the higher attack one because that's the one I have level 99. I do not want to run the speed version because I'm not a big fan of the speed version. How much attack does the speed version have? Yeah, he still has 4,000 attack, but his defense is higher. Wow. So I'm going to be thinking about running him, but I like running the higher attack one because he just outputs an insane amount of damage, guys. So here we go. I like to go over the stats. You guys know what I like to do. Also, guys, let me know if I'm doing too many team builds. I feel like I like to have some variety, but I love doing them at the same time because I like talking. I like going over it. And then I've been starting a new thing where I do use the team the day after, the video after, guys. So shout out to Prince Kaza for this video. But number 247, you are Broly. Level 99 out of 99. HP is 5,200, attack is 6,850 with two dupes into his attack, His de which I plan on putting once I if I pull all 10, putting all 10 dupes into him. But defense is 1,320, and then his speed is 2,680. Ultimate attack is Gigantic Meteor, and then his posing skill is Legendary Super Saiyan. Place on a trigger score for plus 15% to ultimate attack age at the end of turn, repeatable. And then plus 10% damage dealt and minus 10% damage taken that turn only. This second part is where it gets absolutely snapped. Third part, actually. Place after turn 3 for plus 30% damage dealt and minus 30% damage taken. That is dumb good. Very good. Trigger scores are top left and top right. Now, I have the 10% skills on him simply because he just outputs insane amount of damage after that, but I'm not putting skills into this. But, guys, his, his posing skill is very good. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. The only thing I might have changed is I wish that 15% was at the beginning of the turn, not the end of turn, but... It's whatever. I completely understand. If they gave him 15% at the beginning of turn, it'd be too broken. He'd have what? What? I'm pretty sure the Spirit Bomb Goku has 15%. Yeah, he has 15%. The only one that has more than that is the Super Saiyan 2 Adult Gohan, and then him, who gives 20% at the own at the end of turn, which, him, I love it. There's nothing wrong with it. So, you guys, you, know, you guys know what I like to do. You know, I've done so many team builds now. It's, it's expected. I like to go over the stats and see what I can patch. The only thing is his speed is a little low and his defense is a little low, but the defense isn't really that much of an issue and his HP, but the defense isn't that much of an issue when it comes down to the fact that if you go first with him, very low chance of survival because he does get that plus 10% damage buff, plus 10% damage dealt, and minus 10% damage taken because the defense, he's going to lower their damage up by 10%. Well, he's going to be taking 10% less damage, but he's going to be giving 10% more damage, which is insane. Once you get to the 30%, the three turns, it's, you're no way you're surviving unless you just have an insane amount of defense or you're using a Whis and Avados. But by third turn, I don't think they're using that then unless you take one of them out and focus. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get into the Broly. Um, go for speed. A lot of speed on this team. Now, I do have a setup. I'm not going to talk about it because I've done it so many times. Prince Kaza, I'm going to do this setup real quick for you. I'm not going to go over it too much because I've done it a million times. Piccolo, Future Gohan, the Vegito, and then the Gogeta. This is an absolute stupid team. I'm pretty sure I've used this in almost every single story playthrough video. It's just is stupidly broken. You run him in the middle, him bottom left, him top left. It becomes snapped. And once you put these three on the field together... It becomes stupidly broken. I don't need to talk about that that much. I'm going to do a little more of an original setup. Not in my, that's, that's a very defensive setup and a very well-rounded setup, but I want to go more attack because I like being exciting and I like doing more attack videos. So let's get into it, guys. Honestly, Golden Frieza is not that bad of a setup because he does gain 500 speed per turn. I do not have him ranked up, so I will not put him on the squad, but he's very good. He's going to have about 3,000 speed. 3,400 speed at the beginning of turn one because he is going to be getting that 500 speed at the very beginning of turn. So that is not a bad option, but guys, here we go. I've actually been thinking run the trunks because he can go behind the goat. He can go behind the Broly. He's going to give the master. I'm going to just go over it, by the way. I don't know what I'm talking about. The power of hope. Place on a trigger score for plus 1,000 to own attack and speed and minus 30% to damage taken by your master. Stacks during that turn only. Trigger scores are top right. I mean, top middle and bottom left. Burning attack is his ultimate attack. Now, guys. He's going to have about 5,440 speed at the very beginning of turn once the once the posing skills are over because he does get that 1,000 speed. And he's going to have 4,560 attack because he does gain 1,000 to both. He's going to be able to cover him top left 
and bottom left. Now this is similar to the future Gohan setup, but I am using a higher attack version, higher attack version of that team. So you run the you run the trunk, and he's giving a 30% damage and mitigation to the master, which is fantastic. So you can run it a little easier, but right there is about that's 8,000 speed right there. 8,200 speed, I believe. So 8,200 speed. Pick your poison. Do another figure that has a lot of speed and a lot of attack. So. I'm actually thinking the this man right here because it just it becomes stupid. He becomes broken. Now ignore the 01 skills on him. I'd use it because he's a beast. But here we go. Natural talent. Place on a turret skill for plus 20% to own ultimate attack gauge at the end of turn and plus 15% to own attack and plus 700 to own defense when your HP is 50% or more and then plus 1,000 to own attack when your HP is 50% or less. That is actually stupidly broken. Because he does get 1,500 attack. He has 8,100 attack at the beginning of the turn. That is redonkulous, guys. But once your master's, a once your master's HP does fall below 50%, he only gets 1,000, so he's only going to have 7,600 attack. Oh, no. That's still very good. So, here you, here you go. You could run him bottom... Uh, top right, by the way. The trigger squares are top left and bottom middle. And then his ultimate attack is Super Ghost Kamikaze, Kamikaze Attack. It is top middle, not bottom middle. I just, just caught that. But you could run him bottom left, him top left, him top right. You could run him... Um, you could run him top middle, him bottom middle, him top right. Now, you're going to go first, but watch out. He does not have a lot of HP and he does not have a lot of defense. So... You do have to cover yourself a little bit. So one thing I would suggest is, Prince, using a Vados maybe. Because he, she does mitigate attack a lot. Or you could run a Whis. I'm actually going to go ahead and run the Vados because he, she does lower attack by 30%. Which I feel like that's more useful than the Whis. So look at this. Top right. God of Destruction Attendant. Place on a Cherry Squid for minus 20, 30% to attack to all opponents on the field stacks. That's her only Requiem of, of Destruction is her ultimate attack. Talking really fast. I don't want to stumble over my words. Is my mic working? Let me see. It looks like my mic's working, guys. So you could run her top right, him top left, and then him in the middle. Now you're not going to have a lot of attack, but due to the fact that he gets 10% less damage taken until you get to third turn, then it's 30%. Basically, you're running a Whis with the Vados. He becomes tanky, but 10% with the minus 30% attack is very good. He's going to be tanking a little bit. So is he because he's going to have that plus 700 attack at the beginning of the turn at turn one because your eight master's HP isn't getting any damage done to him at the beginning of the turn because nobody's attacked yet. So 1900, 1900 defense with that 30% damage mitigate, 30% attack mitigation is fantastic. So you could run the Vados, boom, top right, top middle top left and there's going to be a lot of damage being done and there's also going to be a lot of damage and mitigation because this is 30 percent now what i'm thinking also is you need to do a little bit you need to have a lot of speed at one point that's why i have the future trunks but at the same time i'm going to actually scratch him because he just has way less he just has way too little speed and i'm not i'm actually not a big fan of that i'm actually going to be running where are you I'm going to be running the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, simply due to the fact that he... It, I'm going to go over it, because he's a beast. Posing skill, Crimson Saiyan, place on a tr trigger square, I cannot talk, for plus 10% to own ultimate attack. Wow, mugs, take a breath. Crimson Saiyan, place on a trigger square for plus 10% to own damage dealt, and then plus 20% to own ultimate attack damage, and then plus 10% damage dealt by all opponents on the field, minus 10% damage dealt by all opponents on the field, repeatable. Bottom middle, and then his top right trigger square. Those are his trigger squares. Dragon Fist is his ultimate attack, obviously. He becomes a beast because you can run an insane... He has 4,000 speed. So right here, this is actually 11,000 speed, correct? No, this is just below 10,000 speed. But put you could put him top middle, him top right, him top left. And that is a three-lane setup where you're not getting attacked in the master. But you are going to be doing massive amounts of damage. You could run him top middle him bottom um bottom middle and then him top right or left to run a two lane setup or you could run the vados top right him um bottom middle and then him top left and they're going to be doing some damage and mitigation you're not going to be going first i'm assuming with this setup but you are going to be tanking very well because she's getting she's lowering everybody's attack by 30 percent and then you have the super saiyan 4 goku who is lowering everybody's attack output by 10 percent fantastic he i also have a one skills on it ignore this and ignore this don't do that don't put two figures with the one skills on it unless it's a piccolo and like a future gohan 
Only thing I suggest, which I did up here, make fun of me. It's whatever. Can I level 99 you? No, it says level 60, but I can't level 99 him yet. I need to figure break that. That's a thing I need to do, guys. But I hope you guys had a fantastic day. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. As always, my channel's growing every day, and I love seeing new subscribers. I love seeing people message me on PlayStation about it, messaging me on YouTube, whatever you can contact me with. Do it, and I will obviously... I message you. I try to message back as fast as possible. I'm busy at work, and I'm busy doing other stuff, but I try to message back as fast as possible. So here we go, guys. This is a very defensive setup because of the Vados, but it's very attack-oriented at one point because you put these three figures on the field, and it just is attack galore. Besides him, who has very low attack output, but once you get him built up, it's GG. Nobody is surviving his ult. But now, the last figure I would put is someone that... It's, it's a mixture of both attack and defense because I actually would like more speed. So I'm gonna, I kind of want to throw the hit on, but I just used him. And I kind of want to throw the sell on because he's also a very good figure as well. But I don't want to use it because at the same time, let's actually throw on... Ooh, that actually wouldn't that be that bad of a setup, right? You have a lot low... I don't have, this, I don't have you at level 99. I don't want to use you. So let's actually throw on a... Let's actually throw in a Super Saiyan 4. Nah, I don't want to use that. Let's use a... We're going to use the hit, right? Let's use the hit. You know what? Let's use the hit again. Actually, we're going to use the attack version of hit because... The attack version of hit because he's an absolute beast. Did I use it? No. Mugs, what are you doing? There's the attack version. Jesus, guys. This is... I just am not talking right. So you could put him top right... I'm going to go over it, though. The Greatest Assassin. Place on a trigger score for plus 500 to own attack repeatable. And then attack the opponent's defense drops to zero until the next turn. Top left and top right is his trigger score. Time skip Molotov is his ult. Now, this team can be very, very good once you get it set up. So, top left or top right does not matter. You could run him top left, him top right, and then you could run a Super Saiyan 4 Goku simply to boost your speed a little bit but he is lowering the damage output of them by 10 percent he's lowering the t damage output that he's getting taken to him so damage taken by 10 percent again so he's going to be able to tank very well he's in it he does he's not going to tank but he does have a lot of hp to survive and so does he one of one of the figures that is getting attacked one of their figures that is attacking you going first when they're going first is getting taken out there's no way shape or form i want to see do i have this skill on still because if I have this skill available to use, I'm using it. I don't. I need to buy it. Because if I could put that on the Broly, that is just... That is 40% first turn. 30... 40% first turn. Once it gets to 30%, it's GG, guys. But basically, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Prince Kaza, like, comment, and subscribe as always. All you Shout out to Prince Kaza. This is the team you're looking at. I might change it last minute depending on what I feel like. I will be using it tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. You got the hit, who just has an insane amount of... He has a lot of HP, is also why I chose him. You have the Vados, who is lowering the damage output. So you could put Vados top right, him top left. And you don't even have to use the Broly for this turn. And then you can use the um, Gotenks for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku to go in the middle, top right, a uh, top middle, or bottom middle, depending on who you choose. Obviously, top middle for him, bottom middle for him. But And then you have a lot of damage and mitigation. They are going to die simple because he's getting 7,000 attack because he does get that 500 attack so he's gonna have seven seven thousand attack at the first turn so him top left her top right and then him him or him both of them because it's a fusion um middle and then you're set fantastically you could run i don't even know if that was a word what am i even talking about and then you could run the broly top left him top right, and then him in the middle. You're going to get some damage and mitigation from the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then you're going to get some damage output from him and him. But that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I use this team in action. But hope to catch you guys in the next video. Did deduces, everybody.